I gave this album 8 out of 12 tracks worth listening to and here's why. From humble beginnings and playing coffee shop gigs regularly to full production level albums and live shows, Zella Day exists in the pocket genre of music in the vein of small time musicians such as Bob Dylan, Stevie Nicks or Joni Mitchell. One of the songs last time instills those sounds existing as a contemporary take on folk and pop music inspired by the 1970s with the A side being a near perfect knockout in terms of quality. With there being this running motif of Alice in Wonderland woven into the subtext, then the production level has this massive bump in quality to her previous works and she's brought about storytelling through her songwriting like talking to an old friend, very reminiscent of the way Taylor Swift would write a song, very raw and personable. Sharing experiences unique to her but mutually written in such a clear way to resonate with her target audience. As an outsider, I commend it. Radio Silence though, serving as an excellent example of that and displays her range when it comes to her vocals, jumping between a handful of different styles in later tracks, or I Don't Know How to End has this calming angelic tone with this harmony that builds calmly and soothes you into her sound. The arrangements and the overall flow is well paced, but hits some bumps on the B side. My central gripe is the lacking or quality thereof to a bridge in each of her tracks. This aspect could be given much more time and with that we can derive building deeper ways to resonate with audiences to further emphasize her storytelling. Excusing these minor gripes, it's certainly worth looking into but it isn't designed for mass appeal so bear that in mind. Take a step back and watch the garden grow. 